Hi and welcome to Chef's Review. Today on my workbench a induction double deep fat fryer from Royal Catering. Um, the size makes it perfect for restaurants, bistros, really busy bistros, fish and chip shops and food trucks. Um, so what's the, the advantage of having induction fryer compared to a conventional fryer? Uh, first of all, it's way more efficient and way faster than a conventional one. Um, so how does it work? Basically, uh, induction, it creates an electromagnetic field that heats up the oil um, from all sides at once. So it heats up really, really quickly. Um, the other advantage is, well, there's no heating element inside of the tank, so you don't have to clean it, uh, which saves time as well. Uh, of course, making it more efficient uh, causes, uh, well, savings in electricity. You don't have to have it running all the time. Uh, because it heats up really quickly, you just wait for your customers. When they arrive, you just turn it on and off you go. So before I do some frying, let me just go through some of the technical details. So first of all, it's stainless steel construction, which is great if it comes to uh, any appliances that come in contact with food because it's easy to clean and maintain. And it looks good because it's scratch resistant, it will stay this way for a long time. Um, all right, so first there's an on and off switch. That's the main switch that's in the back. Turning it on means uh, it turns on the device. And well, talking about power, these two elements are individually powered, so there's a cord for each chamber, um, which is also great because you can organize your workflow a bit better, or uh, changing oil is much more, uh, much easier. So you can still fry on one chamber and drain the other one uh, while still working on the first one. Uh, the other thing is savings, so if it's not that busy in the morning, let's say, you can operate it on one chamber and when it gets busier you just fire up another one. And because it's so efficient it will heat up uh, nearly immediately. Alright, so once you turn it on, you have separate controls for each part, each chamber. So you just turn it on, this beeping sounds uh, that it needs filling. If you fill up the oil, I already did, you just press this one and you're pretty much ready to go. The device starts with 120 degrees as a base temperature and you can uh, up the temperature by pressing these buttons. So I just set it for 170 degrees uh, just for my chicken nuggets there. Um, they have display, that's the temperature you've preset. Um, there's an indicator the device is heating once uh, it reaches the desired temperature uh, it switches to keep warm and it will stay on this desired temperature for as long as you need it. Um, another cool feature is the fact that you have a timer here. Uh, so in order to achieve really uniform results um, you can use the timer. So what you do is you press the timer button, set the temperature whatever that is in your recipes, you know it best. And once it, when the time is up, the device turns itself off. So additional savings, all right? And of course, uniform results. So my timer is going, so let's do some frying. Let's take one of the baskets here, dip it in oil, and let me tell you a few other things about the fryer. Uh, both chambers have uh, the capacity of 10 liters uh, with an operation capacity of five and a half. There's actually a marking on the side of the wall that tells you exactly how much oil you need. Uh, and well, it is always important to make sure the oil level is at the right point. It should be somewhere in between, closer to the high mark, right? Of course, after service, it's time for cleaning. And with an induction fryer, the cleaning is really easy. As I said, there's no heating element inside that you have to uh, fiddle around with. Uh, all you have to do is just drain the oil with one of these convenient uh, taps um, and just, well, rinse it out. Uh, never use any scouring or uh, corrosive detergents because you may damage the steel and that builds up uh, dirt on it. Uh, so just use soapy water, just make sure you wipe it down really proper, thoroughly 
uh, with a paper towel or a cloth so it's dry when you refill it with oil. Uh, I have still one minute left so let me just tell you uh, these two covers and the basket are included in the set. Talking about the basket it is really nicely woven uh, with small eyes uh, and nice chromed uh, steel so uh, it's easy to clean as well. There's two hooks on the basket so you can hang it on the edge here. Let me just drop it there. And there are two covers and some use it as a uh, splash cover but I reckon that's the wrong way to use it because steam accumulates underneath it, it condensates and it drips back down in the hot oil creating more splashes. So I always use it when the device is already cold. I just put it there to protect your, the oil from uh, any dust or dirt that may fall in over the night uh, just so it's ready for the next day service. Alright, so let me just quickly emphasize all the main components and all the main uh, bits of information. So you have the stainless steel uh, construction. Oh, there you go. The time is up. The chicken nuggets are ready. So, uh, you have the stainless steel construction, you have two chambers with 10 litres of capacity each with operational capacity of 5.5 litres. You have two heating elements, uh, each works with 3,500 watts. Uh, the device uses a normal wall socket, so no special installation needed. Uh, and you have these really convenient taps for draining and changing the oil. So uh, definitely a good choice. Very t efficient, uh, very uh, energy saving, so definitely a good choice. Uh, if you're looking for a fryer though, uh, just have a look at the website. There's a variety uh, of fryers there on offer. So you will definitely find the one that you need for your business. Uh, this one comes with a three year uh, warranty and it will be posted to you in a really sturdy cardboard box with lots of packaging material in it uh, for a safe journey to your place. Also inside you will find the a instruction manual and uh, I'm one of these people who re actually read it and I have to say um, have a read before you start the device there's a lot of useful information there on how to use it, how to prepare it for its first use, how to maintain, how to keep it uh, and a lot of useful information there so definitely a good read. Uh, so if you found this informative, just leave me a comment in the comment section what other equipment you want me to test and I'll do it for you. I thank you guys very much for watching and i see you next time.